Latin America Studies Poster. Through the different modules, we have learned different concepts and acquired knowledge of different situations related to Latin America. Some of the concepts learned was about slavery, which is explaining module 4. This happened in the 19th century in Brazil, which had an effect on the identity of man. Such as Machado de Assis explains in The Looking Glass, referring to a person who loses all of his identity when the slaves disappear. Slavery magnified the difference between a white person and a dark person, giving white people the freedom to abuse non-privileged people like them. In Module 7, we learn about what happened in Chile in 1973. The movie Machuca shows us the reality that lived in Chile in those years. We saw how people with power took advantage of those most in need. This is a consequence of the severe social inequality that occurred in the country. In Module 11, we learned the meaning of the Pachamama, which was defended by Ecuadorian peasant women. Jackin showed us how women were activists who fought for their rights. In Module 12, we learned about the migration process. Rumpau, in his article, explained what are some of the false myths about this process. Finally, in Module 13, we learn the meaning of the concept of transnationalism, which explains the process through which a migrant goes to win, being in a country like the United States and the connection that continues to have to his homeland. Slavery From Module 4, we learn that slavery brought a lack of control of identity. This happened as a consequence of the regulations and the oppressions that existed in society. Those who were the oppressors were the ones who gave the people their identity. So much oppression created that people felt a lack of control of themselves, and the reality was that this was the truth. They were not their own. Machado de Assis explained it to us in his short story, The Looking Glass, when Jacobina completely loses his identity when the slaves leave. The oppressive society had appointed him as the lieutenant and he needed his uniform to feel complete. This showed us the power that oppressors have over the people. He also liked slavery for those who were not slaves. He was a symbol of identity and power. Class-based inequality from Module 7, we learn a very important concept, which is social inequality. It is very important to recognize that this happened as a consequence of racism. White people hold much of the power and are the ones who oppress people of dark color. For this reason, many people of dark color suffer as a result of discrimination from white people or those in power. Most of the country's wealth is owned by a small number of the population, which, as we learned earlier, is owned by white people. As a result, people of color suffer from poverty, humiliation, and discrimination. Machucas is a clear example of everything that is wrong with society. In Chile, in those years, social inequality was a big problem. White people were the ones who have the benefits and privilege, while the colored people had nothing and lived in tremendous poverty. Although there were demonstrations, to end discrimination, they were unsuccessful. The white won as usual. Pachamama. In module 11, we learn about the meaning of the Pachamama, which is a sacred mother earth from Ecuadorian women. For them, the Pachamama is an important symbol, since thanks to it, these women have different benefits to help them live day by day. Pachamama is the idea an indigenous female deity of the earth and a key element of the indigenous worldview, strongly linked to security ideas attached to both land and water sources. Peasant women are the ones who are in charge of being the providers in their homes. They have been involved in different anti-mining movements to defend Pachamama because apart from being secret to them they need it because Pachamama provides them with water and land. Different companies have wanted to destroy the Pachamama by contaminating it with their large mining projects. Many Ecuadorian women have fought 
to defend the rights of the Pachamama and defend themselves from the abuse that have generated against them. Migration process. Every day, thousands of people cross the U.S. border illegally in search of a better life. In Model 12, we learn about the migration process and what are different misconceptions about this process. Over the years, different myths about immigrants have been generated. Rombound showed us in his article which are the different myths. Mainly, there is a myth that Mexicans refuse to learn English. The facts show otherwise. Even in Greater Los Angeles, where more than 6 million people of Mexican ancestry live, the second generations prefer English and the Spanish is dead by the third. This show, show us the opposite of what is believed. Spanish is one of the, the one that is in danger of, of being extinct. Another myth is that the immigrants are criminals. Immigrants are less likely to commit crimes or to go to prison than native-born. Teenage immigrants are less likely to than native-born adolescents to engage in delinquency, violence, and alcohol and drug abuse. This shows that there are many myths about the migratory process which affects immigrants since this can be one of the foundations toward discrimination and racism that they face every day. Transnationalism In Model 13, we learn the meaning of the transnationalism which is how migrants continue to have a connection to their country of orange. This happens when a person is political involved in both countries. Something that happens as a consequence of this is when a person continues to send money to his country of origin to support his family there. This has had a positive effect on those people since their quality of life improves thanks to the contributions of their relatives. Transnationalism has caused a change in both the economy and culture. Both those who stay and those who leave are changed as a result of this. As next generations are shaped by their native culture, at some point in their life they may take an interest in, in their roots. Conclusion The following concepts are important in order to understand Latin America's story. Slavery, class-based inequality, Pachamama, migration process, and transnationalism, they are important concepts that are related to each other. Slavery and class-based inequality shows how corrupt politics can be the basis for abuse and discrimination. In the same way as what happened with the Pachamama, people with power abuse it and take advantage of the less fortunate. This is something that continues to happen throughout Latin America. As a consequence of this, there is migration to other countries, but the reality is that Latinos continue to be discriminated against and made that we refer to as the immigration process continue to emerge. Finally, transnationalism arises as a result of migration, and it is important to recognize it since a person goes through the different through this process of double assimilation as a consequence of the different conceptions mentioned above. Thank you.